Alrighty, so I am here with my new little friend, and when I say little, I mean little. <laughs> but I'm going to have you say your name, because I'm having a hard time pronouncing it. I'm Trisha Alvarez, like Trisha, T-R-I-S-H-A. Okay, and I have to lean like this, because I asked her, I said, how tall are you? And she said, not yet five. <laughs> I didn't reach five, like just 4'11". 4'11", <laughs> all right. And how old are you? I'm 10 years old. Okay. And you're from Chateau. Yes, I'm from Chateau. Chateau is kind of like a, what we call in America, a one-horse town. It's got one gas station, it's got one restaurant, um, a public market, and all this. But I was surprised when I found out today that you're in your second year of college. Yes. And you're going to college in Chateau. Yes. I didn't know they had a college. Um, North Seoul Chateau, like public school. Public school. Yes. So it's free. Yes, it's free. Awesome. And what's your grade point average? 91%. 91. Nice work. And so what would you like to do eventually? Huh? But what job would you like to have? Um, or what degree are you chasing? Um, I'm taking a business management. Business management. Yes. And you're getting, from what I understand, some pretty good on-the-job training from your parents. Yes. You guys have a business yes, in the little have. sleepy chateau. And what do you do there? Um, selling ice cream. Selling ice cream. Yes. And do you, how did that happen? I mean, you've been doing it, I think, eight years or something like that? Is yes. Your eight, parents? Eight years. Okay, so your parents came up with the ingredients and the process to make ice cream yes. at home. So it's yes. homemade ice cream. Yes, it's homemade. Okay, and you told me that it's like in big six-gallon tubs. Yes, like one box. Box, okay, uh, big box. And you sell, I think you told me, chocolate. Yes, um, we have chocolate, cookies and cream, mango, fruit mix, um, ube. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, and the most popular seller is what? Um, cookies and cream for children. Cookies and cream. Yes. And I was trying to, we were talking beforehand, and my small reptilian brain couldn't wrap around this big box of six gallons worth of ice cream. But what you're really doing is you're selling to people who are having a party. Yes, um, uh, we receive like order for um, birthday, wedding or a small party uh-huh and then when you work you work on saturday and sunday yes or and sometimes it's just a uh, sunday sometimes just sunday yes. okay so it's not a big retail operation where people come every day like baskin and robbins or scoopies or what we have out here and everybody gets a cone uh this is primarily kind of a not a wholesale business, but they, they deal in volume, and which is smart. And but you also will sell a cone. Yes, we have um, like cone, um, twenty pesos each. Twenty pesos each. Yes. Okay. And the most popular one you told me is cookies and cream. Yes. And that's what the kids like. Yes. All right. So do you make the ice cream once somebody places an order? Yes. Okay. So you don't go and make four or five different ice creams no. because it might just sit there and go bad, if right? If they want um, cookies and cream, we just made cookies and cream for okay. them. And they have to place the order first. Yes. And then you go down, you live in, well, it's not really a province, but your parents also have a farm. Yes. Um, not, not our farm, but my parents is just working in the farm. Okay. Okay. All right. And what do they do there? Um, like planting rice. Okay. Uh, harvesting rice. Okay. And, and I help them to yeah. plant the rice or the, um, if the rice is like, you know, um, ready to harvest, I'm helping to, to harvest the rice. Is that hard? Super, because it's very hot because they, they don't have, um, um, like it's very hot in the area and it's so tired. So how long do you work in a rice field when it's time to harvest? Um, since like 20 years, since I born, we mm -hmm. have, um, my parents is working in the rice field now. Understood. 
When you go out to harvest it though, you pick it. No. You um, don't. like we we are using the like say English as galab. Like okay. for rice. Okay. Like oh, something knife. like or that. A sip, or a sip, I think it's called. And how many hours a day will you do that for? Like um we start in like morning like six AM because it's not hot hour to five PM every like we are um like three days. For three days? Yes. And does that harvest all the rice? Yes. Wow. So, okay. You plant the rice. How long does it take rice to grow? I don't even know. Like, um, five months. Five months? Yes. Okay. So you'll plant the rice. It's got to get watered and tended to and oh, all that okay. kind of stuff. Five months After later. After five months, we are, um, we harvest uh, the rice. Okay, cool. And is that profitable? Um, no, because it's just for us to, um, we have, um, like consumo namo, itawag na consumo te? For the for our family ra. You don't own it. Mm. You're working it. Yes. Okay, it's somebody else's. So we don't they sell pay the you. rice. They yes. pay you. They give you some rice, I guess, to yes. keep, and that's that. Um, and so the ice cream business is that what really funds everything? Is that where most of the money comes from? Um. Yes. Um. The money comes from is for just in ice cream because we don't have any business or any income. Mm -hmm. It's just the ice cream. Okay. Well, that's innovation at its finest. Uh, the parents got a recipe. They've been doing it for eight years. You phone in your order. You say, I want some ube or I or want some chocolate cookies or cookies and cream. That seems to be the big seller. <laughs> and they also sell the cones. Yes. Do they make the cones? Um, we buy the cones okay. in store. Okay, understood. And then you supply it for the birthday party or yes. the wedding or the get together. And that's that. So five days a week, you're in college. Yes. And um, you told me that when you were in high school that you didn't have any interest in boys. No, I don't have any interest in boys because I'm super busy to entertain, um, entertain boys. Um, I have uh, friends, or sure. I have friends in school, sure. um, boys or girls. Yeah. But in something like in relationship, I don't have any. No. No. Okay. All right. And now you're in second year of college. How many more years of college do you have to go? Um, like three years. Two. Uh, second, third, fourth. Ah, uh, two years. Two more. Yes. Two more. After then, I graduate. And then you get your degree. Yes. And then once you get your degree, what would you like to do? Would you like to leave Chateau and go work somewhere? Yes. Um, I'm planning to um, leave Chateau and work in like another place because um, in Chateau you don't have um, like uh, big salaries or opportunities to get in Chateau. So, I, I'm planning to move in Domagueti or something like oh, that. Oh, okay. In, right. in big cities to right. have more opportunities to work. Right. The way it's set up, guys, is like there's Domagueti, where we are today. And then if you drive for an hour, you get to Chateau. And that, again, is... A, you can go through Chateau in seven or eight minutes. <laughs> you just keep driving. That's where May comes from. And I kid you not, I think they've got this one gas station and one restaurant that's sort of like foreigner orientated. And then um, you just see rice fields. And then the next city is Bayawan, I believe. Yes, Bayawan right? City. Okay. And is there a hospital in Chaton? We have hospital, um, Lomberto Hospital. Okay. All right. And do they are they able to treat like big problems or is it no okay. they if there are the big problems in hospital they deliver in domagete like medical or provincial something uh -huh. like that yeah yeah, yeah. they can't assist um big problems because right right because may just interviewed a young lady whose father just died suddenly and he was in chateau right yeah, yeah may sitting over here and um <laughs> They had to take him to Dumaguete, and by the time they got him there, it was too late, which was a shame. So you have aspirations to finish your college. Um, you have aspirations to get a job probably yes. in Dumaguete or someplace. 
and are you going to continue to help your parents yes, once you get course. involved? That's just a common that's thing. My, um, that's my goal. Um, if sometime, I, someday I finish college, I, my goal is to help my parents and help my brother to finish his schooling. Okay. Because I have a brother and one sister. All right. And, and I, I'm planning to help them because my parents is, um, they're get, getting older now and they can't, they can't handle if they, we have, um, like my brother is have uh, big ex expenses in school. They can't afford na So I'm Understood. planning to help them. Awesome. That's awesome. Now, you were confiding in May that you would like to start to, to meet some guys, some fellas. And you like foreigners. Yes. But you've never, ever been on a date before. No. <laughs> that makes for an interesting dynamic. Because, um, like, I'm fine with my friends. Uh -huh. Bo like, I have a friend, um, boys, um, my cousin. I'm fine with it. And I don't have, um, interested in, like, in the relationship when I was in high school. Right. And so, as far as a foreigner goes, why are you attracted to a foreigner? What is it about because a foreigner that you... Their nose is like long. That's, I hear that all the time. You yes. guys don't like the little pug noses. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we have already a flat nose. So I know, the flat don't... nose, I should say. Yeah. So you like these big honkers and long noses. Yes. And um, if you were to meet a foreigner, I imagine you'd be more comfortable if you met him, like, on Facebook or something like that? Yes, um... Where you could chat? Uh, yeah, chats. Yeah. Because, let's face it, you know, you've never been on a date. No. You've never been with a Filipino guy or much less Just a foreigner friends. guy. And so, what motivates you to do that? Do you want to learn to speak English better? Do you want to yes, be just because friends? Or? Like, America, um, like, um, foreigners, um, they are good in English and I want to, um, like, my English to, I want to, like, improve my English sure. speaking. Sure, sure. Uh, your friend Mia was the same way. She wanted to talk to guys. Yeah. Now, I think we have a solution to our problem because we don't ever want to give out your information to anybody. Um, that's... That's just, we don't know who's, <laughs> who's who. And we don't ever want to put anybody at risk or anything. But if somebody wants to comment on the video and um, maybe private message me and talk to me on Facebook a little bit, that's fine. And then I guess I could let you see their Facebook. Would that be acceptable to you? Yes. Okay, I think that's the safest way to do it. Uh, because whenever we have a young lady on the channel, there's a lot of people that get interested in them. Uh, and I'm assuming everybody has good intentions, but you know, there's always that one Ted Bundy that's running around, and you don't want to be a part of that. So I think what we'll do is we'll just make it to where if somebody wants to give me a shout out and say I enjoyed your interview I would like to help her as far as her English goes or whatnot and understand that it's only in the friend zone 99% of the guys that talk online never come to the Philippines anyway <laughs> before one and before aren't and um, just being honest with you I see it over and over and over again guys are saying making all these big promises and whatnot so I would ask that if that were to happen with this young lady here, that you guys remain respectful, dignified, and not go into the wrong place because she can block you at any time. Um, so where do you see yourself in the next couple, three years? You see yourself still, um, you know, maybe in Dumaguete at that time working or? After three years? Yeah. I think so because four years, um, one year, Maybe I'm in, still in Domagetti working yeah. Yeah. Or, and supporting my parents, I think. And tell me a little bit about your brother and sister. You mentioned them, but I don't know anything about them. Are they older, younger? Are they helping um, your parents? What's are the deal? Younger to me. Um, I have 
one brother, um, grade eight. Okay, and in the eighth I have, grade. Yes, okay. and I have one sister. Like my younger, my youngest sister is um, six months old. Six months? Yes. Oh, I thought you said your parents were old. Um, they, um, <laughs> forty-five. My mother gave uh, birth to my youngest sister. Um. A younger, um, 30, 45 years old. Your mom's 45? Yes. And she just gave birth six months ago? Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you know, we have a loving relationship with mom and dad. <laughs> what a blessing, huh? How old's daddy? How old's your dad? Um, it's fine. Um, they... How old? His age, you know? Uh, 53? 53. 53. Okay. All right. Yes, 53. So, you're the... Oldest one in the group? No. no. I have um, two elder sisters. No more? Yes. And we what? are five. Okay. We are all five. And I am I'm third. Like That's why my name is Trisha. <laughs> because I'm third. <laughs> now I get it. Okay. All right. I like your parents' sense of humor. <laughs> and so, your older sisters, what's their deal? Are they working? Going to school? Uh, my, are they married? My... Elder, the eldest is married, and my um, the second is working in Domageti too. In I think it's Lee Plaza. Oh, okay. All right. She works in Lee Plaza. Yes. Sales girl or um like um in counter. On the counter. Yes, cashier. cashier. Okay, understood. And so, the one that's married, where is she living? Um, in um not far in our home, just. Um, like five minutes. Oh, five same minutes barangay. Away. Same barangay. Yes. Okay. All right. So, are you a close family? Do you guys get together a lot? Um, yes. Every um, like my sister is just um, go in our home and like banding banding some mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And helping us to harvest some rice. They're oh, helping good. too. Good, good, good. So it's a family, family orientated. Everybody pitches in when it's t the time is needed, except for the six-month-old. <laughs> That's amazing, six months, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Better than me. <laughs> Didn't expect because my uh, my brother before him, uh, before before her is like 13 years old. So they are 13 years gap. They have 13 wow. years gap. Wow. So. Wow! 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 So how many, i got to get back to this ice cream thing, this fascinates me. How, on a Sunday, yes. how, many, how many boxes will you sell? Just one because... Oh, really? Yes, because if Monday came, I can't sell na kay, because I have to study. Mm -hmm. Because I have classes in Monday, so we just sell one box every Sunday or Saturday sometimes. Okay, so you only sell one box? Yes. And is, is it a store where there's a freezer, or do you just come no, and deliver? No, um, we just, um, like, we have a um, stall, something like a small to stall. That we just have, we don't, like, we have don't, um, like, ng habangan na ron. I understand, I understand. We just stay, like, in, um, the, behind the, like, highway, and we just... Understood, understood. So there's no real overhead involved in this deal. And you sell one box. Yes. And it sells for how much? Um, like, um, the total is just um one five, one six, something like that. Okay, so about one thousand five hundred, yes. one thousand six hundred pesos, depending on the ice cream. Uh, on the ice cream. And what she told me is that it costs them about six hundred pesos to produce it and box it up. So it's a good profit margin. They're making nine hundred pesos approximately. Yes, when making ice cream, it's so very tired because we we will, my mother and my father will wake in like 2 a.m. to um to want the ice cream to make the ice cream. Put the ingredients yes. together, mixing it up. 2 a.m. to 5 at uh, 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. after finishing the ice cream. Wow! So, so it takes a couple hours yes. just to make one box of ice cream, but you make a profit off of it, so you got to do what you got to do. And then you get, they send you in to sell the, 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 the box, deliver the box to the person. Yes. How do you keep it cold? 
Um, in the box, like box, it's just a box. And we have like tube in inside and in around. There are ice and oh. like salt in there, so the ice cream will freeze and cold. Good deal. Good deal. Now I we know. don't have um like we just buy ice, so we can put in box. Okay, got it. Got it. I imagine that's how you deliver it to the person with the yes. ice in there. And they've been doing it eight years. So if um, you met somebody and they wanted to chat with you, uh, what would you want to talk about? Would you just want to talk about getting to know the guy? Yes, or getting to know first. Getting to know first, okay. All right. So anyway, the word's out. Um, this is my new friend, and she's number three. <laughs> that's my new name for you number three so i can say that <laughs> thanks so much for coming on the channel it was fun to have you all right we'll see you guys in the next video say bye bye, bye.